You've been watching NBC News Daily. I'm Megan Bragg. This afternoon, we're hearing from a local couple who no longer wants to live in fear. They say they're a target of ongoing threats, racism, and harassment by their neighbors. The Charlotte couple says it happened at their retirement home in Myrtle Beach. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson is sharing their call to action. Well, today marks a solemn anniversary in our area. It's one year since Madalena Korjakari was officially reported missing. Police say her parents waited weeks to report her disappearance. The 11 year old was last seen on November 21st of last year at Bailey Middle School in Cornelius. You've been watching NBC News Daily. I'm Megan Bragg. Here are some of the headlines we're following for you right now on WCNC Charlotte. We're learning Harding University High School's principal is resigning. In a statement to students and staff, Glenn Starnes II announced he's stepping down. Starnes took on the job after former principal Dr. Eric Ward Sr. passed away suddenly back in 2021. Starnes says his next chapter is in Washington, D.C., but did not provide any more details. His last day is February 1st. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and tonight we're highlighting Rock Hill School's dual language immersion program. Students learn two languages in their everyday studies, and it starts as soon as kindergarten. So expect busy roads and yes, packed airports. Today and Monday are expected to be the busiest days. If you're headed to Charlotte Douglas, remember the airport is currently under major renovation, so there will be extra staff to help you navigate the new area. Officials say their number one piece of advice is to plan ahead. Tomorrow, cats will restart their express bus routes. The routes were stopped during the pandemic. WCNC's Lexi Wilson has the details on the change. Central Piedmont Community College will soon be one of several community colleges in the state offering teachers the course to get the required licensing. In North Carolina, you can be hired as a teacher on a provisional contract with just a bachelor's degree, but you then have three years to get residency. A South Carolina woman has been arrested after nine puppies were found in trash bags on the side of the road. This happened in Spartanburg County, just two hours outside of the Charlotte area. According to officials, the four week old puppies were found by a tree service company. Today we have an update on a story about a Charlotte man who is once again making national headlines for spreading awareness about foster care. After three years of fighting, he just adopted two more kids. And you can look for sunny skies today. It's still a bit cool in the Carolinas this afternoon. I was bundled up this morning. Is it worth getting up at 3 a.m. in the oh, morning? Really she, just because of me. <laughs> just because of you. <laughs> but I do have to say for the past several days, I have kept my window open. Um, I just love like waking up to that crisp, you know, morning air. Mm -hmm. It's just so nice.